This is an overview of a new tool called Rapport for rapidly making airports for Aerofly FS2. The idea is to take the hard work out of copying and pasting coordinates, converting them to metric and uh, working out widths and using lots of different tools. So I tried to put everything in one place. So I'm going to make an example here just to show you how it works. So you go to the URL and there's a couple of airports in already. I'll make a new one, then I'll show you what you see once an airport's been created. So I'm going to click Add an Airport. And there's a couple of bits of information needed first. So what country, UK, and what code. I'm going to do Biggin Hill, which is E-G-K-B. I better just check that. I don't want to do this video too many times. Um, EGKB, that's right. So short name, Begin Hill. Long name, Begin Hill, mm, call it airport. Optional description. Yeah, let's put something in here. Um, God, I had a useful thing here. Let's grab it from there. Southeast of central London. You don't really need this, but it might be useful. Biggin Hill Airport is a operational airport. Fine, that will do. Right, who has made this? Just put myself down. Now then, here's the clever stuff. We need to fill in all the coordinates that the TSC file, which is used by Airfly FS2, needs. So let's just put in any search term here, just normal text. So I click Go and I'm going to scroll down the screen and zoom in and there we have the airfield but scrolling up we want satellite and the first thing we're going to do is the tower so if you zoom in find the tower I happen to know the towers here and I just click on that you can't quite see it because it's a circle on top of a circle but in fact it didn't even happen let's try it again nope uh, I'm not in that field. I click here and now click it. There, you see a circle appear over the tower and the coordinate has been pasted in. Next bit, a modeling reference. So you don't need this if you are make just doing an airfield without a model, but uh, the TSC file needs it anyway. It's kind of a place that if you've made a model and you don't want to get out of sync between your model and the real world, you know a really good place that you can always reference. So I'm going to go for this particular junction here. The center of that circle has been placed here. Right, some parking places. Let's go down and find some parking places. Well, here's here's one. And uh, let's have another one. Uh, here's another. Click the yellow. Here's another. Uh, zoom out a bit. I saw some down here. Yeah, let's have those. Let's click in slot three. And when I click here, it appears. Let's click in slot four. Here it appears. Uh, those looks about 270 bearing. Um, three was about, let's say 250. And the others, I can't remember now. They were about, let's say 180 and 120. Okay, so those are the parking and the sort of main coordinates. Now runways. So there are two runways. No, just one runway. That's easy. So the first one is 03. So I'm going to put 03. And the coordinate for that is, I'll pick this point here. That's the coordinate for that. Pappy, let's assume they're on the right. You can change those. Right, what's the other side of it? Scroll down. 21. So, should be able to remember that really. 21. Where's the coordinate? Here. Okay. Now, the widths. This is how you do the width. Click the left hand radar button and let's do a really big zoom in. And we put a blob here. Now we click the right hand radar button and we put 
a line here and that now if you've got that a bit out of place you maybe you were up here you just click it again until you're happy that it's perpendicular across the runway and it's calculated that that's 44 meters um, if there were more runways I would fill in this next line and next line next line up to four and now I click save if I've done it right we now have big and hill so if I click big and hill there's an overview of it there's our little summary and you can view the TSC file that it's been created so that's all in there um, there's no objects in this TSC file but when you download there's two options for download one with the objects you'd use for, for a model and one without the objects which is the TSC we've just seen um, back to all airports you can look at Blackpool that's in there and the nearest one to me is Walney and basically once you've loaded it you can download the TSC in fact I'll just show you downloading the TSC click that and you get the download and save it and put it in the appropriate folder in Airfly FS2 have fun.